The European Parliament, or the EP, seems ever more like a real parliament, meaning that its functions and powers are similar to those of any national legislative power. This includes, for example, powers to start up the legislative process, designing laws. The European Parliament, as a real parliament, means as well that it has influence on other institutions, such as the European Commission, which is some sort of a European government. But the EP hasn't always been like this, hasn't always had these powers, and in reality, only recently, has gained this importance, for example, since the Lisbon Treaty in 2009. The European Union, rather than being purely a collaboration between states, has increasingly moved towards a form of representative democracy. In other words, this means that the European Union requires consent from the member states, but also from elected representatives. What powers does the European Parliament have? Well, the Parliament has by now important powers that include, for example, the power to check on other institutions and their operations. The EP has, the, for instance, the OK to new commissioners that is set up after the European elections, the president of that commission and the singular commissioners. Or the co-deciding on legislation, which means, for example, that in 2023, the European Parliament has co-legislated the Data Act in, to regulate big data and the use of personal data, or as well the batteries regulations and it's discussing now the right to repair. But also co-determining the EU's multi-annual budget. The EP's consent is crucial for the adoption of the multi-annual budget, a long-term seven years budget that is under strain now due to the to Ukraine, the next generation funding, providing enlargement to the EU to countries such as Ukraine or Moldova. But the EP is also the key actor to propose increases for the budget for the Erasmus Plus program. But what is the role of youth in European Parliament? While the Parliament has become increasingly more democratic and also politically relevant, and is an important promoter of youth issues, the composition of the European Parliament to this day doesn't withstand with the youth test. Two out of three MEPs are between 41 years old and 60s. Currently, only 37 out of 705 members of the Parliament are below the age of 35, which is only 5% of all parliamentarians. This shows a large gap with the percentage of under 35 years old in the entire EU's population, which is roughly 16%. The general demographic trend of aging societies might make this gap even worse. A different issue with young people and the European Parliament is that only a few member states are allowed people under 18 years old to actually cast their vote. For the 2024 elections, this age is set at 16 in Austria, Belgium, Germany and Malta. In Greece, it's 17, whereas in the rest of Europe, it remains at 18.